Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. From Zero FXP, let's show you how to use a normal budget Raspberry Pi Zero, Zero Two version. This is because it's faster, and ID Fifty Two, and to get onto all the reflectors without having to buy uh, these days uh, quite an expensive hotspot. So to edit the rules in your Raspberry Pi Zero. You first go, well, just to show you here, you need to select the two blue dots here, because normally you, you'd have probably have probably that one there, MMDVM host there, and the simplex. So you don't want that, you want to select it here, two blue dots, and apply changes. Make sure you've got your, your core sign in, apply changes, and then give it a reboot. So you can just go power, and, and then click reboot. Okay, then when it comes back on, back into configuration. You find your IP address and go into configuration. Then now expert, you're going to select here SSH. So click that. And first thing you're going to do is put in R or oh, Pi Star, of course. Login. So Pi dash Star or lowercase flat line in the middle, and then Raspberry R A S P B E R R Y. Raspberry, you don't see that go in, but it goes on. Now you want to make it rewritable, so you go RPI uh, dash RW, enter. Then type SUDO space BASH, so sudo bash, enter. Now you're going to type nano n a n o space e t c actually go back i made a mistake a, sl a, a slanted line first then e t c slash then u d e v slash rules there you go dot d one zero zero. No, we need to put a slash there. So it's rules dot d. Then a slash. Then one hundred. One zero zero. Flat line in the middle. Then pi star with no gap. Lowercase. Dot rules. When you hit enter, you enter this section here, which is where you add and change rules. Now, I've already added the rules for my, you know, for my Icon 52. So the way you're going to do it is in the description of this video, you're going to see some text and you're going to copy it. You're going to copy it. Um, and when you copy it, so let me just see if I can do it. Go here. Yeah, I've still got it here. So look. We're going to copy it. And thanks very much to Zach Dixon, A-D-O-H-T, who sent me these details. So copy like so. I'm going to go copy. Yeah. And then you're going to go right click here. Go to paste from browser. You're going to click the box, this box here. Now you're going to right click and paste. Yeah. And when you click OK, it's going to put it here. I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it. It's going to put it here. You won't probably, you probably, when it does it, you probably won't see all of it. It might look a bit different than what you've pasted, but don't worry about that. Then click Control, hold down your finger on Control and click X. Yeah, and it's going to, it's going to prompt you with a yes or no. And all you do is go Y for yes, click Y for yes, and then hit Enter, and then it will, it will save it. It will save it. And then just type exit, E X I T, enter. And that's it, and you're done. So now, when you go back to configuration page, so we'll leave that, what's going to happen? Of course, your radio needs to already be in terminal mode, and these two blue dots selected, as I've said. When you do the drop down list, yeah, it will say at the very top, icon radio in terminal mode. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. Send me a message. Go through your settings. Obviously, sometimes having a bad cable will do it. Remember, the cable between your radio is a micro USB um, to the the micro USB on the Raspberry Pi. 
So we'll move on to the, the, the next part now. So it's very important that the cable that goes to the radio is the second one in it. It's the lower cable. And that's just micro USB to micro USB. You can get an adapter, but these cables are like £2.50 on uh, you know the usual sellers. So micro USB here, this is a Pi Zero 2, and it goes round to the radio in the micro USB. The other one is just used for power. I've got it into my laptop at the moment, but you just basically need five volts of power, just to power this Raspberry Pi. This is not a hotspot, this is just a cheap Pi Zero 2, 15 pound when you can eventually get them. You've probably got a normal Pi Zero lying around, that will do the same job, it'll just be slower. And then, you're, then you're, your connections are correct. To get your radio in terminal mode, you literally just go menu, go to DB gateway. That's normal mode, so start again from the beginning, go menu, DB gateway, you're now in terminal mode. I'm Zero FXP, let's show you how to use a normal budget Raspberry Pi Zero, Zero Two version. This is because it's faster, and ID Fifty Two, and to get onto all the reflectors without having to buy uh, these days uh, quite an expensive hotspot. That I picked up from Ham Radio Outlet. We also have a very good D Star repeater here in Tampa. I mean, very good RF wise. The internet on it is a little spotty, so. We generally use it locally in Tampa. Uh, you know, it just has a little spotty. Uh, back to you.